Well, man, where you going now? I'm just heading for a feed down the street. Their burger is calling my name. What you doing? Unfortunately, I have to go to class now. We're learning about the Cox regression model. I have no idea what that is. Well, I wouldn't expect you to, being a history student and all. Oh, very funny. So come on then, if you're so smart explain this thing to me. The Cox regression model is a survival model and is to do with modeling the chances of a hazard occurring. I'm sorry, hazard. Basically it's an event occurring, usually unwanted, like death. Wow, a bit morbid for this time of day. Whatever. Anyway, if the hazard is death then the regression model relates the time that passes until death to the covariates associated with it. A covariate is any quantity that is known for each life, for example, age, sex and the seriousness of any illnesses the person may have. Okay, I follow you so far. But what is the difference between a regression model and the Cox regression model? The Cox regression model is also known as the proportional hazards model. Each covariate influences the hazard rate multiplicatively. This effect is unique to the Cox model. The hazard function of the Cox model for a single life has two parts. The first part is the baseline hazard function which describes how the hazard changes over time at baseline levels of covariates. The second part is the exponential of the multiplicative effect of changes to the covariates. If you are doing a calculation this second part is actually the vector of the regression parameters multiplied by the transpose of the vector of the covariates. Okay, so why is the Cox model called the proportional hazards model? Well, proportional hazards means that the hazards of different lives with different covariate vectors, for example age or height, are in the same proportion at all times that is if a life, with a set covariate vector, has half the hazard risk of another life at time 1, it will always have half the hazard risk at any time. Okay, so obviously then the Cox model is the only model to have proportional hazards. Actually no. Even though the Cox model is called the proportional hazards model, any model with a formula would produce proportional hazards. However, the Cox model does ensure that the hazards are positive. Okay, my head is starting to hurt. That is some high level stuff you are doing there. I think I will stick with the history. See you later. Right. Have a good feed.